Hey everyone, I'm Sarah. And I'm Brandon. And, and this, this is, is Fish or Price, Price Ranch. Ranch. Welcome back. I'm Sarah with Fisher Price Ranch. First off, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. So we are officially ready to start talking about our Giant Rex project. And I kind of have everything written down a little bit. So we'll kind of talk about how we start figuring out exactly what we're going to be doing with our project and how we get started. So uh, basically the Giant Rex project is we're crossing Flemish Giants with Rex Rabbits. And... Um, what our main goal is at the end is to have a giant rabbit with Rex fur um, with more meat on the bone. <clears throat> so basically a Flemish giant, even though they're huge, they can get to be 20 pounds. They are a heavy bone, but they're uh, lighter on the meat side. So basically it's like saying the difference between a cottontail rabbit versus a jackrabbit. Jackrabbit is so much bigger but you're gonna get more meat off of a cottontail. <clears throat> so same thing with the Flemish Giant versus the Rex. The Rex is gonna be smaller, eight to 10 pounds, but they're gonna have a lot more meat and a lot quicker because they grow faster than the Flemish. So that's kind of our goal. Bigger rabbit, more meat, but with Rex fur. So um, it's just a lot of fun. I did it, you know, years and years ago. And I got to my third generation crosses and they were looking fantastic. Um, but we had neighbor dogs that came in and just destroyed everything. So we're finally ready to jump back in. So here we are getting ready to get started. So the great thing is I, I, in my last video about the rabbits, I did already get a couple of Flemish giants. Um, as you know, I've already got plenty of Rex. I have plenty of different bloodlines and genetics in my Rex. So, um, I'm basically already ready there. So now I've just been trying to get enough Flemish giants. That way I have enough bloodlines. So this project starts really big because you need so many different bloodlines to work with as you start crossing them as you go down generation to generation. So you don't want to just start off with a pair because once you get a litter, now you need to outcross again. So, um, but basically how it works is you're going to take a Rex and a Flemish, breed them together, and you're going to get an F1. And that's basically just a first generation cross of the two. And then you need another pair of a Flemish and a Rex to get another F1 that needs to be completely unrelated to this cross that you already did. That way the kids, you can breed together to get your F2s. And then again, you'll need another bloodline to get down to the F2s and then cross the F2s together to get f three. So anyway, as you can see, you need to start off with a lot of bloodlines. Then you slowly work down <clears throat> to you know, a, a little bit less bloodline, basically. So your first generation cross, we're not going to get Rex fur. Uh, it might be a little bit softer, maybe a little bit shorter hair, but you won't get the Rex fur. By your second generation cross, that's when you'll start to see some that will have the Rex fur, and then you're going to start picking and choosing based off of that. So basically, like I said, we already have all of our Rex set up. Um, so right now, what I did was I wrote down all of our does that we have and then all of our bucks that we have and how we're going to cross them to get our F1. So right now we're working on seven different bloodlines and that will be our F1 bloodlines. So basically what I did is, uh, if you guys remember, I got the sandy doe, the black buck and the, uh, the light gray doe. Well, they were all related. It was mother, son, daughter. So I was able to trade the son yesterday and I traded him for a different bloodline of the Flemish. And so now I've got a new bloodline there. And so now basically all I'm missing is I need one more Flemish buck. Uh, I haven't gotten Janenji yet. He's hopefully I'll be getting him within the next week. He's my uh, registered Flemish. Um, so basically I do want to have one breeding pair of registered Flemish just so I have them. Same with my Rex. But um, 
with the crossing, it doesn't matter if they're papered because we're starting from scratch with a new breed, technically. And so we'll be making our own pedigrees as we go along. Um, so basically, uh, right now, I was able to acquire a couple more Flemish, so I haven't shown you guys them yet. Um, I've already done four pairings. <clears throat> so, so far I had the Sandy Doe with um, Kohaku, which is my broken Harlequinized Chinchilla Buck with the Sandy Doe. And I noticed with her today, I didn't, I've had her for a few weeks now and I didn't even see it till today, but she has two white toes on her front. So she carries the Vienna Jean, which is basically random white marks on, on the rabbit. They can get really big to just really small. It's like, like hers is just the toes. Uh, they typically have the white stripe up the face here. I always like that gene because you can get blue eyes. So it's kind of fun. So it's great that I can add that into my project without even trying. Um, Kohaku is out of a, his sire was actually a Vienna marked buck as well, though he didn't pass it on to his kids. So the Vienna mark is there. I crossed the two without even realizing it. So we may actually get some of that breaking out into their kids. So it'll be fun. Um, but basically, so I did the Sandy Doe with Kohaku. And then I did Kana uh, just yesterday. She is my black orange Harlequin Doe um, that was the same litter as my Magpie Rex that I was hoping was a Doe was, but ended up being a buck. Anyway, it's his sister. Um, so Kana, we just put with our newest Flemish, he's a light gray. The cool thing is with that is the magpie gene is brought on from the chinchilla gene. And so basically in Flemish, chinchilla is light gray. So having that cross should bring out the magpies, which I've always wanted. So we've did not, we've done that cross though. I don't think she's bred just yet. We're just going to leave them together for a little while. And then we did Miss Gray. Uh, I'm, I'm basically just naming them by their color because we're only going to have them for a short while till we get our first generation crosses. We'll move out all of our original breeding stock and start with our F1s and then go from there. As soon as we get all of our F2s, we'll move out all the F1s and basically go like that. Um, so I'm just naming them unless they already had a name with my Kikos or my uh, Rex. I'm sorry. Now I'm thinking... Uh, goats. Anyway, so Miss Gray uh, is with Inuyasha and they did already breed about a week and a half ago. And Inuyasha is my broken blue fawn tricolor Rex. And then uh, our last one is Miss Steel and she's a Steel Flemish. And we just put them together two days ago and she went with Mioga, which is my black Rex buck, who I had sold and then he ended up coming back because transport got canceled. Um, so then I was like, well, might as well use him. So I went ahead and threw him on there. Um, so now we still have to do Kayete, which is my broken blue doe. Um, but I don't have a Flemish for her yet. Uh, I was waiting on Janenji, but then I don't want to cross Janenji with, um, basically I had it where Kayete was going to be bred with Janenji and then Kikio was going to be bred with Janenji. Kikio is the one that just had a litter. So she's obviously not going to get bred for a few months. Um, but I don't want to have the same buck on two separate does. So I do need one more Flemish buck that I am looking for currently. Um, but that will give me, <laughs> I know that seemed like chaotic there, but basically I have it all written down, um, right there. So you guys can kind of see, I had to do a couple move arounds, um, because we added this doe and I moved Serena down. She's not going to be ready to breed until December anyway. And then... Uh, we sold the black buck and we ended up getting the light gray buck. So I made a couple of those changes, but basically that's our first cross for our first seven genetics. Um, so now I'll go ahead and take you guys out real quick and I'll show you what they look like. All right. So this is Mr. Gray. He's the newest one I traded the black one for. And this is Kana. She's the doe that is the sister to that magpie buck that I had. So having the cross of the two should do really well for us. I moved these guys just for a minute while I was cleaning. And this is Miss Steel. She's a Steel Flemish. And this is Mioga. He's that black Rex buck that I have. So they have, uh, she was in heat yesterday. Uh, so hopefully he did get her bred. He is uh, young, so hopefully he got it figured out. All right, so our next cross that we did is Inuyasha and Miss Gray there, and they have already bred, so we'll be hopefully expecting babies from them in just under three weeks. 
All right, and then here's the other cross I did. This is the sandy dough with Kohaku, our broken harlequinized chinchilla. Um, and then if you look at her, I, I talked about the Vienna mark jean. Um, you can see her white foot on that side or her white toes. And he carries that, his dad had that. So we might be able to see that pop through with their babies.